We are excited to announce the Morgan mobile app. It's an extension of the desktop experience that I am so excited to bring you today. There is nothing better than having the experience that you love about Morgan on the go. The Morgan mobile app is a subset of the desktop features. Now these are essentially what we believe is best suited for Morgan on the go. In order to utilize the Morgan app on the go, just to caveat, you do have to create a Morgan account through the desktop experience. But after that is done, you can get started using the Morgan mobile app. Diving into the Morgan mobile app, I actually did go from my widget, which was really cool. After clicking the app or the widget, you jump right in. And from there, if you notice on the top right, there's the option to check your agenda. So you can see what's going on throughout your day. And you have the option to change these different views by going from day or three days all the way up to work week, which would be Monday through Friday. And a hidden view is if you actually bring it sideways, look at that. And you can actually see a full seven day view right here, which I really like, so cool. Now I do have a lot of different calendars on here, but I can actually toggle between those different calendars by pressing those three dots once again and adjusting these. So whether I wanna just see uh, a few less calendars, let me just remove some here. So I can just see my meetings and life events. You'll just see that this is the kind of meeting schedule I have. Way too many meetings, yeah and have the exact same calendar as before. Now, when it comes to the view that you do have here, you can go on a full zoom here and then it would essentially enhance the length. So if I go to day here, you'll see that the blocks get longer, but if I shorten it, it would condense the size of the blocks. This is completely up to you. It's by default a little bit to the first third slash first quarter. And uh, I like the size of that. I think the default size is great. You can create event very quickly by just pressing plus. It's very easy to add all the details you need with contacts being available to add attendees. So if I click on this, it'll actually grab all the different contacts that I have and showcase them right here. So if I wanna add my buddy Chance to an event, I can say quick podcast sync. I can set up the virtual room in one click, added the attendee. I can set it free to busy, public or private visibility, and boom, I would be done with that. Very simple and easy to do. As you can see, I set it right there. Super simple. Now you can do it even quicker if you're on iOS by actually pressing the plus sign on the widget, which will automatically bring it up, which is so cool. I love the fact that I don't have to actually go into the application in order for that to happen. You can see by going to the widget section that if you go to Morgan widgets, you can add various sizes and pick the create event or task one. Then you press done, press create, boom, pop right in there. Super simple and easy to create a task or event with ease. Now you can also press the plus button and quickly create a task in the same way. Uh, it's very simple to create a task like workout triceps. Say I wanna get a good workout in, add it to my growth calendar, and then I can put it into a specific list here. I also can set a due date. Let's say I wanna do it for Friday and I wanna make it high priority. That was extremely simple and easy to do. And when I press save, notice it'll pop up in the calendar with the time I gave it, because I gotta get yoked. Then in this section, you'll see that there are a few different options. First of all, you can see and interact with things like Todoist, so the integrations do show up here. But also, I can quickly view my inbox. I can view upcoming, which is essentially what's what are tasks that are going to be due soon, or that are due today, and then overdue. So overdue is essentially what has passed already that needs to be done. If you open a task list and then add a task from the plus, you'll see that I can record a video, set it to once again tomorrow, high priority. And then from there, it'll go right in to the list. Now also it will show up in the upcoming, but I really like the fact that I can organize these lists in whatever order I want. I can add tasks quickly to them. I can create lists within this with whatever custom colors I want. It's so great. I can even, if I want to, click within this task. And you'll notice right here that there are subtask options. So get script, edit video, and schedule videos. And I can want to make sure I could put a due date for like schedule video for, for next Monday so that it actually schedules out for me. I love the way that this is so easy to manage my tasks and my calendar together on the go. And we wanted to bring that experience to you on the go because having that integrated experience is one of the best parts about Morgan. And I know that this is gonna be a huge level up for your experience. Another nice feature is that if you wanna schedule your task for a specific date, 
you can just swipe to the right and you can pick what day it's on and how long it is. There are some quick times to pick really cool functionality here. So you can put a task to be done on Friday, 15 minutes, and then boom, schedule it there. Now, another really great feature. So if, if you've promised somebody you're gonna send them a scheduling link and you don't wanna go into your desktop experience, this is where this section comes up. I absolutely love this. So for me, I have so many different instances in where people ask to set a meeting with me and then I'll go into Slack on my computer. But now if I wanted to have an interaction with somebody, I could send this link so quickly and it's without a doubt the best feeling in the world because nothing is worse than when you're trying to talk with someone in person or you're in a situation where you just read a ping on the go and you're like, well, you can book a meeting with me or you're reading an email and you're like, oh, you can book a meeting with me. And then you don't have the scheduling link on hand. So you can send them the scheduling links that are all the different recurring ones, as well as your personal booking page. And they will easily be able to receive it and access it on the go. So as you can see here, my public booking page has everything that would be on there and the desktop experience easily sent from my phone. Now, furthermore, you can quickly join meetings by pressing on the event and pressing join meeting. There's no more of that fumbling around for the scheduling link. I would be able to pop into this meeting immediately with very minimal effort. Because let's be real, there's always an agenda link, a scheduling link, it's who wants to deal with that? Let's just, just press join meeting and you're good to go. The Morgan mobile app is going to be an experience upgrade for all of you. And we're really excited that we we're able to bring this to you because we believe that experiencing our app on desktop and on the go should be a seamless experience that you get to enjoy in every aspect of your life. If you like this video, make sure to hit that like button, subscribe, and check out more content like this one on how to improve your skills using Morgan even more.